All right, I have been ambitious, and I'm going to try and film myself cooking dinner. We'll see how this goes. Jewel has joined me, per usual. She's got, oh, here comes Chrissy. There's a really, really weird one. There she is. Phones will be here Monday. Oop, mom just told me that our iPhones will be here on Monday. Making chicken. I'll be the proud owner of an iPhone 7 come Monday. Just a heads up, I might be getting a new phone number. So, I'll let you know. For those of you who have my phone number. Oh, I'm not going to get company. I don't know how, how hot the oven's supposed to be. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees. In our house, it means 300. Or 325. Because our oven actually gets hotter than it's supposed to. And it says it's going to. So we have a temperature thing on the inside. That actually tells us what the actual temperature is. I'm using foil because I don't like to clean the dishes. Let me spray the foil with a little bit of ham canola oil i am one to use the olive oil spray that's the green can of this great value stuff um <clears throat> oh wash your hands before you tuck ch chicken jewel with your drooly self you need to stop drooling all over the kitchen floor I'm right here. Sorry. This is my computer. I don't really have much dexterity. I don't know why I'm doing this cooking video because it just occurred to me that um, I have no way of like putting another video on attached to this one when the food's done cooking maybe I'll just post a picture of it so here we go chicken I'm gonna make more chicken than is needed for the family because um it's always good to have some meal prep if you're trying to be healthy I know it's the holiday season it's hard to be healthy it's hard to even open this bag apparently there we go. I'm just doing a simple, um, I'm just going to set this here. Simple baked chicken with, I'm just going to probably put salt and pepper on it. I do have, I brought seasoning, different seasonings home with me when I came back from SMC that I haven't taken with me to Ball State because, oh, I don't have a kitchen at Ball State. So maybe I'll try something like that. Oh, nope, that's spicy. Can't do that. Boston Bay seasoning, that's mostly for fish, but I can try some chicken. Mm. Trying to find the stuff that I brought home, but I can't find it. Hey, what happened to all the seasonings that I brought home from school? Never mind, I might have find them. Roasted garlic and sorry goop. Hit her with chicken bouillon too. Mm. I had one of them. I had an A1 sauce thing too. Like an A1 powder. We'll try this. We're going to do roasted garlic and herb instead of just pepper and salt. Salt and pepper and chicken. So. What you don't is you just tank the chicken. Still a little bit frozen. That's okay. You can still cook chicken frozen people. It's alright. Even with seasoning. And you just put it... Mm, yep. Inch or two apart. And just push the limits, you know, you can test the... <clears throat> I'm gonna try and get as much as it's... Some of it's really, really, really still frozen. Like, all the way frozen. So some of those are gonna cook more than the other fat in the rest of it. Um, so there's my mom, my dad... No, my dad's not gonna help her dinner. My mom, my grandmother, my nephew, and myself. These will shrink up, about two each. I'm not gonna have any extra. No, 
almost funny in this bag. Might make just a thing of plain chicken too, because there's only three left in here. I don't want to touch a rag with chicken hands. We shall see. I'll just use this rag, because that's okay. Gross. Alright, so then, you'll take the herbs on seasoning, and you just... See how I've laid out? I hope you can see that the lighting's weird in here. You just sprinkle this over the top of each of them. My mom's been wanting me to make salmon. I make salmon really... MYSELF! <laughs> Asked who I was talking to. I've had to do that because my mother refuses to answer my questions sometimes. Remember? The whole conversation in the kitchen by myself about what was for dinner. And you didn't answer and you started laughing because I answered myself. Anyways, back to my cooking. Um, what, what I do with salmon is, um, hang on, I gotta grab it out. She always, she always lays on my clothes. But, um, what I do with salmon is I wrap each filet in foil, but I put salt and pepper and, and butter, or like a little, like a chunk of butter inside the foil with it. And then either I grill it or I bake it. We don't have the grill out because it's the winter time, so I'll bake it. Um. It's really good. I'm probably going to put a little bit of butter in with the chicken just to keep it pretty moist. Um, and it will absorb, the chicken will suck up the butter too, so it'll be real good. I'm thinking we're going to have to have like some kind of canned vegetable because I didn't plan the rest of this out. Butter. Butter isn't the exact healthiest thing for you, obviously, but it's used here purely for seasoning purposes. So don't actually put the butter directly on top of the, the fish or chicken in this case. Um, it's kind of touching it because I had to use the chicken to swipe the butter off the knife, but you know. Um, so yeah, there's that. It'll go in the oven for, since it's a lot of it's partially frozen still, 40 to 45 minutes. I'll check it um, probably every 10 minutes. And if I need to, I'll flip it and I'll put some more seasoning on the underside too. Because you can do that. You can flip, I could flip it right now and do it. Which I might actually do that. But, Chrissy's looking at me so intently. She's showing so much interest. Say hi. Say hi, Chris. You're just gonna smell it? She don't like pictures. You can only get a picture of her when she's sleeping. She knows. Ooh, there's a sweet potato over here. It's moldy. We're not gonna have that. That's what happens when your grandmother goes in the hospital. Your family doesn't throw away things that should be thrown away. Um, yeah, that's what I got now. Chicken. Uh, roasted garlic chicken. An herb, roasted gar garlic and herb chicken with a little bit of butter in between to give it lots of flavor. Um, and whenever this oven gets preheated, it's almost there. It's almost there. So, yeah, but that's it. Two videos in one day? What? So, yeah, I'll take a picture or something um, when I'm once when done. I'll post it on. Instagram and Facebook, so go ahead and go follow me on those if you don't already so you can see how good of a cook I am. Also, if you go to SMC and you don't know how to go, how good of a cook I am, just ask Diamond Young. Everybody knows Diamond on SMC's campus, if she's still there. So I think she's done after this semester. What you crying for? I gotta take care of my dogs. Later, taters. <laughs>